Hello guys, in this video I want to show that this set is linearly independent. Uh, why do you need this? Because sometimes we're given a vector space of polynomials and we want to show that these elements are actually a, ba a, a basis of our vector space of polynomials and one of the requirements that this set is a basis if the set is linearly independent. So, if you want to prove this problem, let's first recover the definition of li linearly independent. So we're saying that this set is linearly independent if for any linear combination of these elements, so I'm saying C0 times 1 plus C1 times X plus Cn times Xn, when this linear combination equals to 0, I want to show that all my coefficients are equal to 0. If I'm going to show this, I will get that this set is linear independent by definition of linear independence. Okay, so let's start by writing this uh, equation over here. And let's take a look at this equation for a second. One of the ways how we can do this, we can take different values for x, plug in these values into the system and try to solve for c's and we're going to plug in like uh, n different n plus 1 different axes and going to get system of our equation yeah it's a good approach but i want to show you another approach if you're going to take a look at the left hand side we can see this one is a polynomial and what we know are polynomials that are differentiable and how many times i can differentiate differentiate this polynomial I can differentiate when like whatever I want so it's infinitely differentiable so let's uh, take this line and differentiate this corresponding to x the first term is going to be 0 the second term is going to be c1 the next term is going to be uh, here I have c2 times x2 so when I'm going to differentiate I will have 2 c2 times x plus this term is uh, n minus 1 cn minus 1 times xn minus 2 and the last term is going to be uh, n times cn times xn minus 1 equals to 0. Okay, and right now you can see that what I can do, I can get rid of 0, I can get rid of the 0 and right now the number of my uh, entrances, my linear combination decreased by 1. So what can I do? I can differentiate this uh, line again. So I'm going to get 0 plus 2c2 uh, plus plus here we're gonna get n minus 1 times n minus 2 times c n minus 1 x n minus 3 plus n times n minus 1 c n x n minus 2 equals to 0 and here we can see we decrease again our degree of our polynomial uh, by 2 and then we can do the step since we have uh, n terms, n plus 1 term, we can do the step uh, n times. So I'm going to put dot, dot, dot. Here we can look. At our first step, we decrease our degree by 1. At our second step, we decrease our degree by 2. So let's find what we're going to get if we're going to do n minus 1 step. So for n minus 1 step, we know that we're going to have here degree x, n minus n minus 1. So from here, I will have that my degree is going to be n minus n plus 1. So the total degree is going to be 1. The total degree is 1. And what is my coefficient? In front of I have Cn. And every time when I decrease my power, I'm going to have in front of, I'm going to have just n factorial. Why? Because n factorial, if I'm going to differentiate again, uh, 1 doesn't affect my n factorial. But I'm left also a constant term. And for the constant term, uh, this is going to give me constant term. So I can see that I will have uh, n minus 1 factorial times c n minus 1 and the whole thing is equals to 0 and why this is true because again by using the same principle we can show that this is n minus 1 factorial times c n minus 1 and if we're going to differentiate again this term is going to give us 0 and then I will have n factorial times c n equals to 0 and since, no, since we know like this is a number we're going to get that we can divide by n factorial. So what we're going to left, we're going to left that from here that cn equals to 0. 
So our last coefficient equals to zero. But when our last coefficient equals to zero, we're going to come back to this equation. And we're going to see that we have n minus 1 factorial cn minus 1. This term is zero because cn is zero, plus zero equals to zero. And then we got that n minus 1 factorial cn equals to zero. cn minus 1 equals to zero. So from here, I will get that cn minus 1 equals to 0. And then by coming back to the previous equation, previous equation, we can show that all our coefficients are going to be equals to 0. Why? Because in our last step, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. So our c naught is 0. OK, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.